and we allow our emotions to dictate how we react to something or dictate our actions, that's really us allowing our minds to control us. When you have emotional intelligence, you don't react to things that are outside of you. You don't allow situations that you cannot control to determine your next step. You don't let anything dictate your moves. To be in control and to, and to have that control over your mind and over your emotions means that you have to develop some sort of emotional intelligence. Hi, you what? It's your girl, Connie, and you are back watching another episode of A Free Mind, where we take back the control of our minds and our thoughts. I want to thank all my free minders for tapping in with your girl. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you're ready to tap in when it's time to tap in. Now, we're going to get straight to it, okay? As y'all can see by the title, today we are talking about emotional intelligence and how being a free minder, having an awareness of your emotions is extremely important. Now, our emotions have a lot to do with us having this human experience. As we all know, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And with having a human experience, we are able to get to experience emotions. And a part of our mind, in our brain, um, parts of our mind controls our emotions and releases certain hormones that allow us to feel certain things. And within feeling these different emotions, um, sometimes we just don't know what it is exactly that we are feeling. Sometimes we can't really put um, a name to how we feel or just simply understanding why we feel some way that we feel. Now, being a free minder, having this awareness of our emotions and not allowing our emotions to dictate how we react in certain situations, dictates whether or not you are really a free minder or not. Now, someone who may not be aware of this power here that we have, which is our emotions, um, may allow their emotions to control their lives. Now, we've also talked about how our minds can control our lives, our reality, in us as a whole. A part of our minds doing that has a lot to do with our emotions. When we allow our emotions to just like take over how we react in a situation, Every, things can just go left. Like, everything can go left. Things can just quickly go left and end up just chaotic in a way that we just don't want things to be. You know, like, it's just so important to have emotional intelligence. And my first um, instance of experiencing me having emotional intelligence was something real, like, it was so small. But in the moment of, of having that and understanding that and, and, and just not allowing my emotions to dictate how I move was just so like, like, dang, that actually did, didn't, it didn't hurt me like I thought it would to not react this way. And so I'm going to tell you all what happened. I was at work. I was at work, and um, as y'all know, if y'all don't know, I am a, a QMA. So I'm at work, and, and so I ended up turning in, you know, my menus that I had. And the kitchen 
the people in the kitchen got so angry at me because I was turning them in late, I guess. I didn't even know it was a deadline, but I turned them in late. And one of the ladies, she was like, well, you need to just have it in at a certain time because this is just unacceptable. And And so, and to be honest, really, these menus weren't even mine. They were somebody else's, but I was turning it in for them. But I just went ahead and while they were yapping off at the mouth, normal me would have been like, um, for one, first of all, this, these aren't my menus, for one. I'm turning them in for somebody and you can watch how you're talking to me because this is not that. So that's how I would like normally respond to somebody like, coming at me in a way but in that moment I swear I heard a voice and the voice was like just apologize and so I did it I was like well you know what I'm sorry next time I have it in and so I just thought about this situation like what if I did not listen to that voice what if I decided to continue to match her energy what would have happened what would have escalated And in a lot of situations, we tend to match energies. And when we match energies and we allow our emotions to dictate how we react to something or dictate our actions, that's really us allowing our minds to control us. I bet you didn't know that, did you? You're allowing your mind to control you. You're allowing your emotions to control you. When you allow your emotions to say, hey, you're angry right now. So since you're angry, let's act this way. Hey, you're sad right now. But since you're sad, let's go and pull up to this dude house and fight this girl. Or, hey, I don't like the way this person is talking to me, and I need to check them real quick. And it's like, you don't have to always meet people where they at. Why do you want to meet somebody where they at? If you are constantly vibrating at a higher level, why allow somebody to come in and you meet them where they at? Keep your energy where it's at. Because I'm telling you, when you have an emotion, emotional intelligence, it's just so like, it's so, it's so, it's such a good feeling. I can't even think of a word to like put to it because when you have emotional intelligence, you don't react to things that are outside of you. You don't allow situations that you cannot control to determine your next step. You don't let anything dictate your moves. To be in control and to and to have that control over your mind and over your emotions means that you have to develop some sort of emotional intelligence. Develop some sort of emotional intelligence. Because there's too many times where we see people that we know or even ourselves get into situations they did not have to be in if they just didn't allow how they felt to say those mean things that they said or how they felt to react in the way they reacted true control and having a freed mind means that nothing outside of me controls me I don't control nothing outside of me I don't control no one I don't control no thing I don't control absolutely nothing so when things outside of me go wrong or they go left 
yes, it's okay for me to feel some sort of way. Yes, it's okay for me to experience this emotion, but it is not okay for me to react off of this emotion. It is not okay for me to lash out or do things outside of my morale. When you have a free mind, things can just be going left like crazy. And what that does is it, it puts you in like this, in this like space of like ease, of peace. Imagine everything around you just going crazy. Everything around you going, just going crazy, like traffic in the morning on your way to work. You get to work and somebody's talking out the side of their neck. Bill collect is constantly calling your phone, or even not a bill collector, but scams constantly calling your phone all day long, back to back to back. <laughs> you see, <laughs> like your kids acting up in school, family members constantly trying to involve you in drama, everything just going crazy outside of you. And it's not even to just be like, oh, I'm, you know, nonchalant or I just don't care. I don't have no feelings. That's not what I'm saying. But imagine all that going on and you don't allow none of that to affect how your day goes. You don't allow none of that to affect your mood. You don't allow none of that to affect your decision making. When somebody, like for example, my mother, right? Her birthday just passed April 27th. And she had plans to, you know, do like a family barbecue with everybody and stuff like that. And because my, um, you know, and, and so because something had happened to where it ruined her, it ruined her birthday for her. And so I'm like, Mama, I said, do not allow this situation to ruin your day. She wanted to cancel the barbecue and everything. I'm like, Mama, don't do that. Do not allow this situation to cancel your whole day and put you in this, like, funk. Because that right there, you ain't got no control over that. So don't allow that to ruin your day. She decided to still go ahead and... and Cancel the barbecue. And I'm like, why would you do that? Why? And so she ended up sitting in her own, her own irritation all day long. She sat in that all day. And it's like, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to. You chose to do that. You have the choice to choose whether you're wanting to sit in that emotion all day and act on it. Or you can experience the emotion of whatever it is and then feel it understand it and then decide right there and say I'm gonna go ahead and do this or I'm gonna move like this being in control of that action not allowing that emotion to control your action Having emotional intelligence is, it is extremely peaceful. I'm telling you, because when, when you understand that you cannot control anything outside of you, nothing can get to you. You know how sometimes people will intentionally try to piss you off? If somebody tries to intentionally piss me off, and I, and I know it, I can feel it, it doesn't work. Because I know what you're doing. You're you wanting to. You're wanting to get a reaction out of me. I I can't allow you, some someone outside of me, I can't allow someone outside of me to control me to the point that they're that they got me feeling some type of way and now I'm acting on it. 
I'm not saying that it's it's not right to feel because we're human. We're, we're going to experience emotions. But what I'm saying is, is if you allow someone to make you angry or whatever, and then you act on that anger, at that point, they got your energy. They just took your energy. Why are you giving away your life energy? That is your energy. You just gave that away. Stop giving away your energy because that's yours. Like when you really sit down and think about it, it's like that is your energy and you just gave it away. Stop giving away your energy to people. Stop giving away your energy to things. Stop giving away your energy to ex unfortunate experiences. That is your literal life force energy. You need your energy to create, to continue to live in peace. You need your energy to live. Stop giving that away to people who you're allowing to take your energy. Stop. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out for real. Because I'm telling you, like, I used to be at work and I used to hate my job, like, so bad, so bad, so bad. But then I got to a point of me having emotional intelligence to where I was able to go to work. And when I say it's nothing but chaos and that, and that thing, and people coming to me, they're like, Connie, how are you just so calm in this situation? And I'm just like, baby, I can't control. I can't control none of this. If I can't control it, I'm not going to give it my energy. I'm not going to give it. I, I need my energy for what I actually care about. I need my energy for what I'm actually trying to create in life or what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Like, having emotional intelligence is, is a part of having a free mind. When you have a free mind, you have emotional intelligence. You don't allow things outside of you to control you. You don't even allow your emotions to control you. Nothing controls me. Nothing but me controls me. My mind don't control me. Circumstances don't control me. Um, the environment that I live in does not control me. It's free minds. That's what it is. It's free minds around here, baby. It's free minds. And whenever you get in a situation where, say, you might even be in a relationship or a friendship, whatever, and someone makes you feel a certain way, don't react off of how you're feeling. Take a minute to just, like, sit back, feel that emotion, understand why it is you're feeling this emotion. A lot of times we don't know why we're feeling this emotion. We might be angry because, oh, somebody said something negative to us, but why is it what that, what that negative saying was truly triggered us? Why do we feel that what they may have said is actually somewhat true? You get what I'm saying? Like, at some level, understanding where this emotion even comes from, where the root of this comes from, this anger, is it, it can help to give you that emotional intelligence. If you know why it is you're triggered by something, then you're able to then get to that foundation, figure it out, and the next time somebody tries to trigger you again, it won't work. Like, if you know your kryptonite is somebody calling you broke, well, figure out the root cause of why you're angry about being broke and why you think that whatever this person said or did, you feel like it's somewhat true, and that's why you're angry or that's why you're sad. Get to the root of that. Fix it. 
And then that will help to also like develop your emotional intelligence. That way you can stop giving out your life force energy. That way you can keep your life force energy. That way you can free your mind, live a, a freed mind life, and be in control of everything you got going on with you. Because, again, we don't allow our minds to control us. We don't allow circumstances to control us. We don't allow people to control us. We don't allow anything. If it's outside of me or if it's up here, it does not control me. It just don't. It don't. But I want to say thank you so much. If you've made it all the way to the end of the episode, I love you so, 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 so much. Okay. Um, please make sure all my free minders, all my new free minders, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and tap in with your girl so that way, you know, you be ready to tap in when it's time to tap in. Period. <laughs> the fuck? So, yeah. Thank y'all, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all next week.